Good morning, everybody. Wanted to talk about just a little bit of something different this morning. Um, and I'm sure you haven't, probably haven't heard anything about this one in a while. And I certainly haven't done a video about them in a while. But I'm going to speak to you about Euron van der Sloot. As many of you know, Euron van der Sloot is responsible for the disappearance of Natalie Holloway in 2005 and for the murder of Stephanie Flores just a couple of years ago. He got a 28-year sentence for the murder of Stephanie Flores and has never uh, uh, confessed to uh, the murder of Natalie Holloway, if indeed she is dead. Uh, he could have sold her into sex trafficking. Without a body, there's no way to know. But what I want to say about Euron Vandersloot, I, was, I, I don't know what possessed me to look him up, but I was just sitting here and I decided to look up Euron Vandersloot and something in, uh, that it, it just came, popped up four hours ago on Google. And it says that Euron Vandersloot is getting married. Yes, Euron Vandersloot is getting married. We've heard that song and dance before. Uh, but they said the last time when it happened, he got cold feet and backed out. This particular time that he's getting married, they said it was rumored last year to where she was pregnant by Euron van der Sloot. And in the Peruvian prison where he's at, you can have conjugal visits if you uh, sign a paper stating that you are common law, you know, with this person. I guess they only allow you conjugal visits with, with one person. So, it was rumored last year that this particular person was pregnant, and they said, thus far, there's, there's no baby. So, uh, they're not sure what happened about that, but they said he is getting married. Uh, here's the kicker about it, though. She's a 22-year-old Peruvian uh, woman who visits him in prison. Now... They're supposed to get married in early June. As you know, whenever he gets out of the prison over there for facing the murder for Stephanie Flores, he was supposed to be extradited to Alabama in the United States uh, for extortion. We tried to extort money from Beth Holloway to tell her the whereabouts of her daughter. If he marries this Peruvian girl, since she is a citizen, then he will get a Peruvian citizenship. And what that means, they say, is as long as he has a Peruvian citizenship, he will not be extradited to the United States. The United States cannot touch him if he is a citizen. So, is Euron van der Sloot marrying this girl because he's in love? Or is he marrying this girl because he wants to save his ass? That's how he's always done it. Somebody left a comment on here and said, What are you doing talking to the girl? They said, Girls never last long around Euron van der Sloot. Something for this young girl to think about because... All he's got to do is marry her and then bump her off. You know, he'll still have his citizenship. He'll be the, the widower of a Peruvian woman, and he'll still have his citizenship. Therefore, he won't have to deal with her ass, and he won't have to be extradited. And do you think Euron Vandersloot would think twice about killing a young girl? Until next time. Bye-bye.